Hmm. What protein bar? So what's going on guys? I figured I'd do a video on some protein bars because I've had a request um, or a couple of requests of, of people because I eat personally quite a lot of protein bars and uh, other people don't necessarily know what ones to choose. There's some building work going on, so bear with me. Let's pop you over there so you can see a bit better. All right, so I'm out in my newly done garden, which I'm really happy about. Right, so I have got a selection of protein bars and a couple of drinks. I'm gonna talk you through which ones are best for you um, when cutting or bulking, and uh, what different ones do what. So, I'll run you through what I've got first. So my first one, I've got a Cymax Diet Pro Flapjack Bar. My second one, I've got a Mission One Muscle Tech Bar. Third one, I've got a Pro To Go Cymax Cookie. And the fourth one, a Grenade Carb Killer. Okay, and the two drinks I'm gonna run through are a Lean Body uh, Nutrimino Shake and a Diet Fuel USN Shake. Okay, and this is my selection. It's just a small selection and there's plenty more out there. There's hundreds more out there. So I'll just run you through these six things. So first one is the Di uh, Diet Pro Flapjack Cymax Bar. Now this one is a diet version of what was a really high carb bar. Um, so they have taken the carbs down in it by just decreasing the oats in it. Okay, so nutrition facts of this one. Now what you've got to really look out for in protein bars is one sugar, two fats, okay? And how much of uh, sweeteners they're putting in them. So this energy, it calories, is 230. Now the original one of this was 350. Okay, so they've taken that down quite a substan substantial amount, by 120 calories. Um, fat, 6.9, of which saturates 2.7, which is good on the saturates. Um, sugars, this is really good. This is taken taken right down as 1.5. Okay, so that's a low sugar. Um, and fiber, 2.3. So low in fiber. And protein, of course, because this is classified as a protein bar, is 20 grams. So this would be best for uh, breakfast, a low calorie breakfast bar. Okay, so it's got a bit of carbs in. Um, the carbohydrates come from the oats, not sugar, which is good. Okay, the original flapjack bar, which I haven't got one of, is a lot higher in carbs, okay, so it's not as good um, if you're trying to cut. If you're trying to bulk, however, that would be a great way to get your calories in, to get your carbs in, and to get your glycogen up in your muscle stores. Um, so that's the Diet Fuel Cymax bar. You can get them in most, um, most supermarkets, and if you want the carbs, the natural carbs, not the sugar carbs, um, then go for that. Taste, not so great. Taste is about scale of one to ten just dropping you in grenade being probably a ten for me that is probably about five or six um quite bland um not very sweet i like something that's quite sweet so i tend to only have these if i'm really desperate in the morning for a, a protein bar so that is the cymax diet fuel bar at the end of the day if you want some good carbs get one of them N number two is the muscle tech mission bar now this is quite new on the market, um, new in England as well. So this is just pure protein, this bar, and I love it for a good, clean snack. Um, I got these from my gym that I go to because the guy who works there is sponsored by Muscle Tech, so he sells them. So per one bar, there's 210 calories. Okay, now this flavour is a chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, calories a little bit higher than a Quest bar or a grenade bar, actually not grenade bar, um, uh, some other diet bars but the fibers in this is great okay so 17 grams of fiber now basically what fiber is going to do is going to help your digestive system help your bowel movement um, and keep everything flowing really you need to keep your fibers up especially if you're on a diet okay because that's one thing that might be uh, sacrificed is your fiber so a good way to get fiber in are these bars um, sugar in these are really good so <clears throat> one gram of sugar per bar and it's really sweet, so this is going to give you that taste and uh, nip that craving in the bud. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 with flavour, 
probably about an eight or a nine this one not quite as good as a grenade bar or a quest bar but really good and i think if the macronutrients is this in this is even better than the quest bar and the grenade bar um the only thing that that um lets it down is probably the little bit higher calories in this so total fat is eight grams of which saturates is four nice and low trans fat zero um if you're going if you're on a diet trans fats should be zilch no trans fats at all sugar like i said is one super low which is what you want on a diet um and protein is 21 so a nice good protein hit from this bar so the main thing is it's got high protein high fiber no sugars whatsoever really good if you're on a diet mission one bar okay that's a chocolate chip cookie dough um they're all quite good the only one i probably think is the least best is the brownie one okay it doesn't taste so great um but the mission tech muscle mission muscle tech mission one bar is probably uh the new big thing really i think they've really stepped their game up so four grams of net carbs which are basically effective carbs really good okay so we're moving on that's a good diet but i'm moving on to something that's probably a little bit better for someone who's bulking um, but trying to do a really clean bulk okay so we've got the cymax cookie now this all depends on when you're having it um the calories in this is quite high so there's 300 and 302 calories per cookie per whole cookie okay so the cookie cookie's quite big probably fills the whole packet um protein 23 so if you compare the protein to a mission one bar um where there's 21 grams of protein for two more grams of protein um and 100 more carbs you're going to get this okay so if you're on a diet definitely go for the mission one bar um now carbohydrates okay 32 grams of carbohydrates in this the only benefit of this is of which sugars there's only 4.8 so of the 32 carbohydrates in this cookie only four of them is sugars so that's what they've gone for is they've gone for a good snack that's going to nip the cravings in the bud but really low sugars um but at the end of the day a carbohydrate is a carbohydrate and if you want a meal replacement i say go for this okay because it's quite high in carbs for that little cookie um fat 8.7 of which saturates 3.3 so still low on the, the low saturates saturate fats the only other thing that's really low about this bar is the fiber so you're not getting a really good hit of fiber either um my advice for this meal replacement okay if you are cutting definitely a meal replacement if you're bulking have it as a snack uh, in between meals um but again like when, when you're bulking you can probably have two of these a day and they'd fit in your macros but still with low sugars a nice clean bulk and this one will do the trick uh, the taste of this one pretty good i like the this the white chocolate uh, strawberry which is this one is much better than the double chocolate double chocolate one a lot better taste um these have been around for quite a while and they're sold quite a lot of places um i just got my hands on a load of these because my sister works in a place where they sold loads for cheap okay so i've got two big boxes if you want any hit me up and i'll give you some so protein cookie um yeah all right high carb low sugar good snack good meal replacement as well now the last one is my favorite okay so the last protein bar i'm going to go through is the grenade carb killer these are selling like hot cakes at the minute um the taste of them is incredible if you think of a twix you think of a uh, what think of a boost bar okay the caramel chaos one tastes a bit like a boost bar and i'm not kidding it tastes exactly like that i've got quite a lot of people hooked on these including aisha's mum <laughs> um and she uses them as a snack when she's at work and like i did not expect that to happen so that just and she's very fussy so that just shows you how good they really are now carb killer says it in the name so ultra low carb in this bar ultra high protein and really really low sugars okay so energy in total is 217 calories okay this is a big bar okay bearing in mind if we're comparing it to the mission one bar it's a little bit bigger okay so for the calories that's good so 200 sorry i've just lost it again 217 okay fats 8.2 saturates 4.4 nice and low um sugars 1.5 now that is incredible for a bar that's so good tasting it's incredibly tasting um and this flavor is a cookies and cream which i also love just as much as the caramel chaos one and they also do uh, chocolate fudge brownie and they do a uh, white chocolate 
cookie which is brilliant as well um, this is bar is really good if you're on a diet um, especially for a snack so if you think of an apple okay an apple has 70 roughly 70 calories in the carbohydrates in an apple ranges from about 20 to 30 grams of sugar okay have this instead i'm telling you i mean i'm not saying that apples are bad but this is going to hit that spot as well it's going to stop the cravings totally so sugar is 1.5 the fiber in this 11.1 now that's brilliant really good and protein 23.3 um, and that is a fantastic snack Hello. Look, look, it's just. <laughs> okay, so the, the grenade bar is probably the best one of the lot, and taste 10 out of 10, definitely. 1 to 10, 10 out of 10. Um, try them if you haven't tried them already. Um, you can get them in Holland Barrett, they're quite expensive, £2.50 each. But if you buy the box online, they work out a lot cheaper, so that's probably the best bit. So when it comes to protein bars, look for low sugar. Okay, um, carbohydrates check them and make sure they're not oaty bars so anything with oats in them is a kind of uh, a carb filled um, protein bar um, but there's a lot of new bars out there quest do loads and loads and loads i just haven't got any at the minute so i couldn't show you um, generally quest uh, are really good okay so don't worry too much about having them and uh, they're really good when you're cutting as well to hit the spot to kind of take that craving away so protein bars next one i'm just going to cover two shakes quickly because bottled shakes can be deadly as well okay so we've got two different ones here excuse the reduced sticker because i got them for 60p and gnc the other day um so i've got a lean protein shake by nutramino which is this one okay now i picked these up because they were nice and cheap i haven't tried them before so just thought bugger it i'll try it i had a quick look at the macros and thought you know what that's not too bad because I was in London, I needed snacks on the go, and I think if you don't want necessarily a 200 calorie at lowest snack, you can go for a shake where you can get even lower calories in these ones. So, macronutrients in this is 135 calories, okay, which is nice and low. Um, fat 0.7, so most of these shakes are ultra low fat, okay, so if you're really going on a low fat diet, then that's the one for you. Okay, um, the only thing is with this is carbohydrates 7.6, of which sugars 7.6. So the only carbs in this shake are sugar, okay? And that purely is to give it the taste. Because it's a lean body shake, they've used the sugar just to give it the taste. Bloody building work. Um, but per bottle, uh, the protein, you get 25 grams of protein, so that's generally higher than a protein bar. Um, very good shake just apart from the sugar if you're really trying to strip sugars then have a look keep check of these and that is a lean body shake for someone who's cutting okay quick snack and it tastes generally quite good scale of one to ten seven i'm gonna give it a seven pretty good now the next one is a usn diet fuel now this is what i used to swear by when i was first cutting but i'd use the box of the powder um which came out about 180 to 200 calories each and I'm sure I overloaded the scoops to get more, get a thicker shake because I'm obsessed with thick shakes. Okay, so USN Diet Fuel. Now this is a meal replacement, strictly meal replacement. Anything with diet fuel on it or kind of um, sculptress on it, it's going to be a meal replacement because it's aimed at people that need a quick meal. Okay, basically. So, macronutrients in this are per 330 ml which is the whole bottle is 182 calories uh, 0.7 fats 1.8 fiber still low protein is 26.4 so high in protein really low in fiber and the sugars in this is what lets it down okay so we're, we're talking if you look at the carbohydrates which is 16.5 of which sugars it is 11.5 so again, this is a carby shake because it's a meal replacement, but a lot of it is sugar, okay? I'm not saying it's bad, it tastes bloody good. The chocolate ones are on point. Um, but again, I'm gonna take these to like things like Body Power, like Expos, where you need a bit of carbs, um, not too much sugar, and it's a meal replacement to keep you satisfied. So this, the ones with the higher carbs are gonna keep you satisfied for longer, okay? Whereas if you get one of these, it's literally gonna keep you hungry for about not even an hour, maybe an hour. Depends what kind of fills you up as much. The only thing is with the shakes is it's lower fiber. If you're looking for high fiber, then go for the solid stuff because that's what they fill up the bars with, okay? So in each of these, the fiber is 
1.7 and 1.5 in each. Um, scale of 1 to 10, taste, probably an 8. Okay, we're hitting good marks on this one. USN generally are quite good on their taste, um, but again, it's just the sugar. The USN protein bars, I kind of would st steer away from them. They're, all of them are filled with sugar and they're a bit behind in the market. Okay, but the things you need to look out for, the brands are Quest, go for it. Uh, they do a lot of chips as well, as in crisps, and they do a lot of protein. Grenade, really good. If you haven't tried it yet, then you should do. And Mission by Muscle Tech, really good tasting bar, and uh, they're going up in the world as well. So that is my video on snacks, guys. I hope it's helped, because a lot of you wanted to find out what kind of bars I use. Um, and if you need any more tips, then shout me up, hit me up, and I'll, uh, I'll do another video for you. It's just a little one on snacks for protein. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video in a bit, guys.